Assalamu alaikum dear students I hope that you all will be fine and uh, you will be enjoying your best of health and everybody thing and everybody at your home will be will be fine so today is our lecture number 9 and this is 27th April so uh, in this lecture number 9 I will be just telling you uh, uh, about the solution of a uh, few of the end of the chapter problems that is 8.1 and then I have just escaped 8.2 then uh, this is 8.3, 8.4, 8.5, 8.6 8.2 <coughs> was a design problem so I just did not do it because that was uh, to be designed our problem was to be designed right now we are in the analysis and uh, we are not in the sta at the stage of the designing so just uh, a thing came in my mind to just to tell you that what is uh, an analysis and what is a designing so if you want to have some current or voltages uh, passing through some point or some across some uh, elements and uh, the voltages and currents are, de are defined and you want to establish those currents then that is called designing but if there, the circuit is already there and you have to analyze it that what are the currents and the voltages at different points uh, in the circuit uh, then uh, then what you are doing is analysis so even uh, even for designing you have to analyze the circuit and sometimes you have to do it by hit and trial method so when you just uh, try to set something some current at some point or some voltage across some element then what you do is you just uh, make up a circuit and then just you analyze it and then find it out that uh, if your uh, uh, criteria is uh, fulfilled and the things are uh, in its uh, acceptable range or not the values of the current and the voltages is that, that you have established through your designing are in the range of tolerance or not so if that is that meets uh, that thing then you just do it keep it the circuit as, as, as it is otherwise you just reiterate it and then you just find again re analyze it so this is a process of uh, designing thing so what so what comes out of this discussion is that for designing a circuit you sometimes have to analyze the circuit you have not sometimes always you have to analyze the circuit that if your design criteria has uh, fulfilled or not you uh, have you met the design cri criteria or not so uh, designing comes uh, next uh, first of all you must have the good understanding of uh, analysis so moving on from this point on uh, I have uh, just uh, uh, showed you showing you this uh, numerical in this numerical of 8.1 this is uh, related to finding the initial conditions <coughs> finding the initial conditions so that uh, this is finding the initial condi conditions so this is the circuit and this switch is going on at TMT is equal to zero alright so no this is not the circuit sorry I'm really really sorry this is not which this is review questions I will be doing it in the next lecture uh, I today what I just want to tell you is about uh, the numericals the problems yes this is this is the numerical I was just a bit disturbed oh, oh sorry for it so finding initial and final values this is the, the topic right now at hand so we have to find out the I0 plus that is the, at the initial voltages from which we have started that means that this switch is not uh, off so for finding out these two things the, the, the questions in the part A you the switch is on because the switch is going off at time t is equal to 0 then uh, switch will go off and the only th thing that will remain is this circuit and then after a long time when the things have stabilized and it is normally considered five considered five time constants for uh, considering the circuit is in stable state so these are the final values for that final values we will be using the same circuit but this capacitor and the inductor will be considered uh, as uh, open circuit open circuit here and closed circuit here the short circuit here all right so i just show you the solution here so this is the solution end of the chapter video lecture number nine and this is the circuit original circuit which have we have started and this is the problems problem circuit so sorry for this uh, bit of cutting these two things will not be drawn as it is in the time t is equal to zero uh, less than zero such so is the circuit for time t is less than zero this is for time t less than zero 
so for time t less than zero inductor will be considered stable in a stable state that is a short short circuit and uh, capacitor will be considered as open circuits that's why this is open circuit a stable in a stable condition it is considered as open circuit all right so finding out the current is very easy here because it's a short circuit here the all the current will pass through this thing and this is the voltage and this is the resistance so 12 divided by 6 is 2 ampere and uh, this capacitor is being charged with the power supply directly across this resistor so this is going to be 12 volts all right so now we just draw the circuit for time t greater than zero for time t greater than zero what will happen is this circuit will go uh, the, this switch will be put off so the only circuit that we are remaining with is this one circuit and that's what i will be just doing it i will be just drawing this same this same circuit everything mentioned the values of the mentioned and the, hand, the inductor is 2 henry and the resistor is 4 and 5 6 and 4 so equivalently <coughs> this circuit is uh, uh, the series uh, capacitor inductor uh, RLC circuit with a value of R is equal to 6 plus 4 that is 10. <coughs> so I haven't reduced it. I have just applied KVL across this. So this uh, I am going against the current. So that's why this is minus LDI by DT that is VL is equal to LDI by DT and this is VL across this inductor minus LDI by DT because I am going against the current this will be plus this will be minus for VL so this is minus VL minus VL is minus L di by dt again I'm going ag against the direction of the current that di the current is IL so this is minus 6 I initial voltage which we already have found here this is the found thing which we are we will be putting in here in this, in this equation so this is 4 and positive sign here because we are going in the direction for this 4 ohm resistance so 4 multiplied by the current and then VC is uh, uh, the initial voltage of the capacitor which we already have found putting in the values here so it comes out to be that DI by DT is equal to 4 so from this on point on where should I go yes 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 uh, yes this I have completed here so continuing from this this last topic the last step that is IL is equal to this CDB by DT IL becomes IL becomes uh, putting the values of the uh, capacitor so and also putting the values of uh, IL from here this is 2 ampere 2 divided by 0.4 the value of the capacitor you see this is capacitor value of 0.4 putting in here then you find out dy by dt dy by dt comes out to be minus 5 and the last question uh, part of this question is that t is equal to greater than infinite so if the circuit has stabilized, the inductor here has been short circuit and the capacitor here is open circuited and because there is no supply here, so, so uh, for this stable condition the things will be zero, the current will be zero and the voltage will be zero. So this was it, uh, these were the things which we, we had to find, uh, you see these are the things exactly we have just found out and these answers, these answers are uh, exactly matching with the end of the chapter book so that is uh, that is i already have seen it and match it and they are match they are correct so 